the bottom of the ocean. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image. Make it fluffy. We can change the focus to a soft blur. Or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. Well, good morning, YouTube. Steve Bernard here, Chris speaking. Well, we did the all-nighter last night, and if you didn't watch that video, um, it's three hours and like 45 minutes. Um, this is a recap on what we caught the other night, uh, X-rayed. And if you watch this, you're going to see the two spaceships. I wanted to show you that first. There's two orbs that go around it. Uh, not yet. There's one right there. But there's two more that do like a U-turn. Anyways, good morning, uh, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world, good evening. Um, from coast to coast, <laughs> from California coast to the eastern coast tonight. Anyways, I just put all this together. I'm doing a forensic show on it. I just wanted to show you this highlight clip right here of a recap. And then we're going to go into the, the uh, forensic part of this. If you're not familiar with the forensic, what I do is I have extremely nice filters, excellent filters. And I have a forensic tool that's used by the law, you know, for fingerprints and hair samples and all that, but I use it for the skies. Anyways, what I'm gonna show you is a forensic show uh, using these different filters. There's definitely a planet right there on the left. Looks like a, kind of like a halo or an orb. Um, last night was a four hour show. People were saying, that's just fake, that's just fake. So if you came back to this show, thank you for coming back. I'm gonna show you how not fake it is, how surreal it is, and on the end of this whole thing, I put last night's ending uh, early this morning when this thing looked like the sun when the cloud when the sun when the light came up, and then it just poof disappeared. So in a second here, I'm going to show you the two spaceships that go around or orbs that go around. Okay, here we go. So watch carefully. Um, right about the left side of the pink thing, right there. Okay. Now, everybody's saying, well, that's just a light lens for flare reflection on the left. No, it ain't. Um, and I'm going to prove it big time. So I hope all you guys that have been watching this, following this in the middle of the night with me. Um, last night was a long night, but it was worth it for the sunrise. We wanted Popeye chicken. Nobody ordered out. Nobody had popcorn. We were just die hard watching for Planet X, the Bureau. The planet on the left could be Parada. It could be, uh, let's say, Nepicity or Yuri. Uh, the red planet I'm going to show you right here in a minute so you guys watch I'm going to show you this red planet and that could be uh, one of the moons or Istum you guys tell me in the comment section this little blue thing up here I'm pointing at is a what looks like a TRB right there UFO guys UFO right there 12 o'clock UFO then it did a left hand turn no way this like these right here flying straight now there's another one it, it's back now that was no trick photography, that was real time. Okay, so meanwhile, we've seen the two or three UFOs right there. So last night we were hunting for UFOs. I haven't gone through that three hours of footage, um, but I will. So anyways, that was a little side clip. Now, I wanna check out this red planet from the first night right here. Let's do a little forensic. Okay, so I'm gonna put some the magnifier on it. I got it magnified to about six which is pretty good see and it looks like a little red planet that came out to orbit around this planet that looks like an orb right but it's not an orb you'll see but thought that was pretty cool so i'm gonna take it to the um contrast gamut auto contrast gamut and control bar gamut the control um histogram i don't really know they now also have the ability to change the lighting on this extremely to pull out stuff to bring back stuff Okay, you see how I can pull this out? You see that planet on the left? See that little moon right there? Incredible. Now up in the top area of the left of the pink thing, 
Um, it looked like a kind of looked like a ship coming down. Um, people are asking me, you think the planet's rotating? I think it was. After last night, I know the planet was rotating. Okay. So as we take the tools, we have a, a tool called a sweep. And I'll show you the sweep here in a minute. You could bring some really dark in. You could separate it with the contrast controls. And then you could zoom in on it with the little box. I've been doing this forensic show for like three months. It's totally changed the uh, complexion of my channel. It brought me into the forensic guy, you know. Um, see the green up there? Yeah, yeah. You see that green come down? That was a planet, I think. Now, there you go. That's Red Kachina. Or that's Istum. Or you can call it or Nana, maybe, is the moon. But I don't think Nana's that red. I think Nana's more whitish color. I don't think that's a UFO. This little blue one up there I pointed at right there, that's a TRB3, I believe. You'll see. Now, also, guys, remember when I did the uh, the video on Chichukamas, where we see the three sun simulators and the little red planet in between the three sun simulators and two other planets? Well, uh... This red thing that rides behind the sun, I think this is it. On that video, if you go back last week or so and watch that video, you'll see the ridges on that red thing. See, I'm just doing different filters right now. There's the TRB, big time TRB right there. B3. I think it's the United States issue TRB3. Um, and you'll see when my little animated thing comes up here. It's crazy. So it's a lot similar to what I'm just showing you there in the left-hand corner, bottom corner. And this forensic tool, we could do a lot of things. Um, for you guys that are not familiar with this, just watch. It explains itself. It brings out stuff that regular filters can't find. It's got a couple settings like Luminous Granted, which actually makes it like a 3D topical map. If you can see solid objects or non-solid objects. So I could change the total background just take everything out that pink thing is definitely in the sky and it's got enough planes and UFOs flying around it that you don't really need to question that it's real it is real but what is it so uh, people ask me if it's the moon the moon wasn't even half full yet so I don't think it's the moon so as I show you this stuff guys uh, you know I'm all about watching and praying that's why I'm showing you this is really happening there's that little red planet and the fog, it was very foggy in this bay. And it's unbelievable, unbelievable. So seeing that TRB3 up there, clearly see the TRB3. Question is, is the United States working with fallen angelic 
technology, or some people on Earth call it as alien technology or extraterrestrial technology. And um, I don't know. This is my one thought I had on this thing. What if this thing they created by NASA, NASA is even real. What if they created this thing to repel? And these things are parked in every city. Someone told me. I think it was one of the people last night. They said this thing is parked over every major area of the United States. So, knowing that, is it the uh, disclosure getting ready to happen? Is the Pope going to come out and, and invite us to meet his little, you know, uh, gray or his little blonde or somebody UFO, uh, extraterrestrial? I don't think none of us fallen angels are very benevolent at all. So, um, is the TRB, it does move down. A little bit to the edge which tells me that was outside of the ship or that craft okay let's go on to the next section guys go on to the next section here we go now this is the the cloudy version the original shot right here I'm just kind of showing you what this tool can do with no filters or anything here we are involved with the forensic show on CPRNAL channel. It just gets weirder and weirder every day. I show stuff people that nobody will show. I show signs in the skies. Of course, I started out with Planet X and Nibiru because when I had my vision, God told me to go show the people. Wormwood, Planet X, Nemesis, Nibiru. I didn't even know what he was talking about. So I had to go study it, right? So check it out. This is all real. That planet's very real without even a filter on it. You can see that planet pretty, pretty clear. My question is, too, is why don't the people driving by, like this one guy in the car down there, I thought he was checking it out, but maybe he's not. I don't know. What's amazing, the second day of doing this, last night, there's people driving up in the morning looking up, but they didn't see anything. It's not a lens flare. Stuff could fly past it in the front of it, right? So, hang on. Keep going. Hang on. Hanging with the homies. I like doing the live show, but it was tiring, guys. I gotta be honest, I was exhausted when I woke up. I was like, I gotta do a 12 o'clock show. I don't have to do nothing, you know. You, nobody's got me on payroll. I can tell you that right now. If you guys want to donate to my channel, just the PayPal on the bottom. I prefer the Super Chat when I'm live is okay. Like with the chat right now. Oh, look at this. I think on the right there, there's a green ship. I think the orb, there's actually three layers of orbs. I think behind the orb right there, there's a planet coming down. I don't think that's no by chance. And the one on the left we've seen as an orb, that's definitely a planet. Um, but you see the, on the right that green long cloud? That thing is a UFO parked up there. So secure teams been showing stuff like UFOs parked in the clouds, making kind of big noises and all. But uh, I think he's right. I think uh, Tyler on a secure team needs to see this anybody knows Tyler send him a copy of this video of an x-ray of this thing of the forensic you can send him the whole thing all the different shots I got the real-time stuff uh, MMBB3 I think someone sent it to him what do you think MMBB3 what's up good morning Richie from Boston can you drive down to mass and see if you could film this thing live please Look at that. It's crazy, right? Look at that. That's all kinds of stuff in the sky. Come on. This filter is awesome, guys. I'm not telling you what it is. If you don't find it on your own, you're not going to find it by me. <laughs> the reason it gives me the edge on my show. Um, now, look up there on the left. That red one has the same kind of... Look at that craziness. It has the same kind of cut in it, like the, the pink thing, like the V on the bottom. Oh, what is that? I love these filters. They're extremely trippy. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane looking. So, you can only see this kind of stuff that I know of on C for All channel. Like I say, if you guys want to donate, help me buy new equipment, the shows will even get better. Um, I will actually do the moon for you at night, the whole thing, if I can. Just the finances are not there on a disability retired paycheck. Look at that right ship right there, that green kind of going purple. Long cigar spaceship out there there's your trb this stuff right here i don't know if it's lens flares if it's just other things other lenses or what this red thing right there i think that's a planet coming down we didn't see that now we know we've seen this orb that didn't look like anything right but now look at it, it looks like something 
can't get any more surreal than this, people. Insane looking footage.
Now this view right here is called the uh, Luminous Granted. And what it does, is, the only way I could explain it with my understanding of this tool is that it is a 3D topical map, kind of like you can see the clouds layered on the right. Well, see then on the right, the long tube thing comes out like it's just one long tube thing. The clouds are really back and you can barely see the little planet. You can see this object clear. It's got a, it's got depth to it. See how it has a ledge, and that's real. It's showing you that it has a depth to it. It's, it's, it's a real object. Um, what's behind it? I think there are some kind of, I don't know. I'm not even going to speak about that. I don't know what it is. They're not lens flares. The light um, is to my left behind the cams. Okay, you see how the light shines in? And I see the thing, I, I put it dark, and see how it's just lit up up there? Like, you start seeing the shadow come in right there. Your TRB is absorbed by the light, but, you know. To me, what makes this thing really trippy is that V shape on the bottom, it kind of blood chilling. And there you go, it's emanating power, it's emanating light. It's got something going on up there, guys. Twilight zone, outer limits, right? And there you go. Um, the graninous tool, tool the luminous tool, you can intensify it, you can make it lightweight. Now I'm back on this tool, because I like this right here, one of the best tools I like. The thing on top, I have no clue why it has the same B shape on the bottom of it. I don't know. Maybe the one we're seeing, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not even going to tell you that, because I don't think it's that either. I was going to say, maybe that's just a reflection. No, that's actually real. But the one on top is another ship that's huge, like the pink one, but that thing's even bigger. So you guys catch weird stuff on your cams at nighttime? Send it to me if it's weird stuff that you can't explain. See the tool I have. I'll bring it out if it's something real in the night sky, okay? So don't send me every picture of the clouds and the moon, because I don't have time to look at every one. Just really weird looking, obvious something is up in the sky, Chris. If it's a daytime cloud and you see an edge of a ship, I could decloud it sometimes. I'll do a declouding video. Oh, by the way, the next video I'll put up real quick. I got a declouding video and it literally looks like a giant. I don't know. Kind of like a giant creature with a big old head and a like a roach tail with a sack of eggs in it. When you zoom on it, when you zoom in on it and do the um, the forensic tool on it, it literally, the legs of this thing, it looks like UFOs are just lined up on it. So I think, I got to show you that. I'll put that up next. Um, it's kind of startling. The whole thing on top of the cloud looks like a giant creature and it has a shadow underneath it on the cloud like it's walking on the cloud. you got to see this. It's a cloud video. Um, and I'll throw some planets in there so I'll make it a Planet X cloud video, okay? You know, I, I just, I'm using Planet X because that's what I'm really looking for. And right here, I got Nibiru, or I got um, Yuri, or Nipicity on the left. Now, do you think the governments, like, this is a soft disclosure so we don't freak out? And they're allowing me to show this for some reason because I'm showing it. And I got copyrighted on last night's, uh, I think, nine times. So I'm not going to get any monetization for the ads that they put up. I don't know what kind of ads they're going to put up. I'm sorry if it's not good ads or full page, but you know, it's what it is. Um, I'm not losing much money on these videos at all. You know, I might lose what a uh, six bucks to seven people. So they can enjoy it. They're needing it really bad. You know, so the monetization is a joke on YouTube unless you spend a lot of money to advertise on Facebook and Google sense. It's a waste of money. You see this planet, you can see the ridge around the edge. Keep watching. Put some music, I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. Now, if you guys missed yesterday's show, this is the morning. You watch. I just I do this in there. I want you to see what happens to this red orb. The lights come into focus. Uh, the planet you can't see on the left. But watch what happens. It kind of looks like the sun's up, and this car down here keeps returning over and over. But he knows what's up. It might be Richie. <laughs> Richie from Boston down there watching this. I don't understand if the camera's just giving us an infrared look at it or what. But if you haven't watched last night's three and a half hour, at least go in there and scan around, go back and forth, watch a little bit, go back. You know. The only thing we didn't have last night going for us was a big bucket of Popeye's chicken. Popeye's chicken is freaking awesome. <laughs> That's what little Nikki said. Anyways, when this disappears, I'm out of here, guys. God bless. Thumbs up. Show it to some friends. Look at that. It just disappears. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it just cloaked. Later, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.